Here is the trailer 2.0 update. So because of this quarantine, I have had more time on my hands and figured I would reorganize the trailer. So let's, uh, let's look at the things that I've done. So I've got a backup camera mounted right up there. I've got a little piece of square tubing welded to the frame and then it's powered via the solar panel that's sitting on top. You can see it's outline right there. So just a little 50 watt panel on top. Um, still have everything here on the end caps. That's nice just to have thin things right there. Easily accessible. Inside still have the drawers over here on the left and the charging station. Um, I have all of my batteries listed as to what I have so that I can occasionally check and make sure that they're all still there. I have been known to leave things on job sites and things have known to have been known to walk off of job sites. So yeah, got power coming in. This is for the main fluorescent light overhead. Um, that comes in through a plug that is right back here. Um, trying to see. Oh, yep, there it is. So yeah, so the marine plug is outside and power comes in to the junction box and splits going to the um, to the AC unit, which is right there, and then also over to this little junction box that has two surge protectors on it, and then comes over here for the light. And then up here on top, as far as the solar panel is concerned, I've got the solar charge controller right there, so power comes down through the roof via these two wires into the solar charge controller. And then from there, the power comes into the battery, and from the battery it goes to multiple things. Um, I've got a, an LED light right here, I've got a security camera, I've got a phone that is more or less the Wi-Fi for this uh, trailer and powers, or provides mobile service to the security cameras. There's another one right here. Um, those immediately upload any footage to the cloud, so they're always recording. And then the phone also acts as a GPS for tracking. So yeah, it's all just powered off of the solar panel on top. I eventually am going to need to um, add another battery onto this, because when it's cloudy, an overcast, which it's not too bad, but still uh, that little 50 watt panel can't quite keep up. So yeah, most of the time it's pretty sunny around here, not an issue, but on the certain days, the voltage will drop below 12 volts by a tad. All right. So yeah, I got the power station here, which, um, yeah, I can plug in to the trailer and charge batteries off of that, I can charge quite a few batteries all at once. Uh, I don't have a ton of Milwaukee, and I only have one Ryobi tool, which is the Brad Nailer. Um, but yeah, most of my stuff is DeWalt, as you can see. All right, so moving on, um, I moved the table saw over, and it fits nicely into this space makes it so that it's not protruding into the walkway very much, um, about as much as those bins are. So that's nice. It has a bungee cord wrapped around it, hooked onto that two by material back there. I just unhook, and then this thing just comes right out. So that's nice. It's got blocks on the floor for the table saw to just fit into. So that's pretty straightforward and easy. You can see the 2x4 um, back there has some uh, foam uh, pipe insulation 
and it's just wrapped around the 2x4 with a piece of wood holding it down on top. But yeah, pretty easy to get this thing in. You just line up the bottom and push it into place and that's that's it. And the bungee cord comes right back around. A little bit difficult to do it with one hand, but you can see it just hooks right back there. Sorry. All right, moving on. So the shelf I moved over here. Originally this shelf was on the back wall and there was a long shelf go connecting from, from here all the way to that shelf. And I really didn't like it. It just wasted a lot of space here. So move that shelf over and that opened up room here to be able to do some things. So that miter saw was always kind of in the way because it's pretty large. This one sticks out to you know, here, that miter saw stuck out to about right here. So, anyways, by having it back there in the corner, uh, it's not really stopping me when walking through here. It opens up the floor space more. And it uh, fits into that space quite well. Um, it is tight in there, but nothing is stopping it from coming out. I'm going to just show you how I've got it, how I've got it worked back here. So, I've got this... Uh, this little latch right here that basically when this gets flicked back that drops down and hooks on to this bolt that's right there and so when that's fit into place it cannot move it's also got blocks on the floor that hold it in place as well so it can't slide around so all I have to do is lift this up and once again one-handed not super easy, but still doable. So that just hooks on right like that, holds it up, and then I can grab the saw and pull it out. So really easy to get to, and it does fit nice and tightly back there. I've got the tape on the ground because I need to mark where the wheel needs to go. So as I'm bringing it back, I put it into the right, right spot. As you can see, if I follow the tape, it's pretty easy to get it back in there. So, yeah, um, that's how the miter saw is set up back in here. As you can see, I've got lots of blades and stuff hung on the wall. It's nice to be able to tuck stuff out of the way. And, uh, yeah, just be able to access things easily. Um, I used to have to kind of contort myself to reach things. Now it's uh, open open and easily accessible. Over here, just have a little shelf just for all the doodads and doohiggies. So, yeah, pretty standard. Yeah, just more stuff. Clamps, not sure if I'm going to leave stuff like this up here. I haven't decided where a lot of this stuff is going to go. But eventually it'll find a home. I've got, you know, a large open spot down here which my concrete saw will probably go into um, and then yeah there's just more space up here that I might just use it as temporary storage when I pick up materials just to throw things up there um, yep, 48 inch shelves 18 inches deep oh I just uh, Excited to finally start using my saw horses. Most of the time I, I don't use them because they've been underneath a bunch of stuff. And so this just makes it really easy to access them. They just come right out. So these two blocks of two 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 by fours are all that holds them in place. And with those little blocks on the end, it makes it so they cannot pop out. Um, eventually I will have a 12 volt light right here mounted on the ceiling so that I can turn that on to see things at nighttime. Uh, most of the time I have a little bit of light, but it'll just be helpful there. And that light is currently mounted in that position. So I'll just stick it under here. So bungee cords are my friends. Use them to hold things on these shelves. Uh, these shelves really maximize space because the the profile of the support is so thin so you can fit 
just a lot more than if you were to do like a uh, two by four built-in shelving. Um, yeah, got the pocket door still, which is always nice. Really like being able to access this thing with all the levels back up and yeah so anyways I've left this thing undone a couple of times where it's just been swinging and uh, it's still survived um, it's been hanging in here for a couple of years now and no ill effect to it still slides very nicely no problems it's just two pieces of three-quarter OSB glued and screwed together so, and then those are mounted, or that track is just mounted to these two 2x4s two that are bolted to the uh, frame of the trailer. And uh, yeah, it's held up well. No movement. Here on the end, it's got some stops so the wheels won't roll right off. So, yeah, that's pretty much it inside this trailer. Everything is organized how I need it easily accessible and uh, just makes working that much more enjoyable knowing where everything is and being able to access it and have the room I need and since this is a 14 foot trailer I can fit you know 14 foot boards all the way to the back now most of the stuff I buy is typically 8 to 12 feet so not typically a problem anyways but still so yeah, hopefully this uh, inspires you to do some quarantine cleaning or uh, just good old regular cleaning. Hopefully this quarantine lifts here soon and everybody can get back to work. Alright, hope you enjoyed this.